Hey guys, um, I was basically asked to display uh, my new locking mechanism for my steel double doors in front of my lovely, lovely house. Um, it's pointless. It really doesn't have a huge point rather than to be kind of cool and annoy your friends who are like, hey, how do I get in here? So um, I guess let's take a look at this. We have a pressure plate in front of the two steel doors. When you step on it, nothing happens at all. There's no switches, nothing. So basically the way you get in here is you uh, jump up right here. See this little pool of water? And you throw something in. Basically that item, it's a pressure plate in the bottom of that water, it disengages the lock. And so when the lock is disengaged, I step right here, the door opens, and you get to go inside. Magical. Alright guys, now we're basically going to take a look at what powers this locking mechanism. What's the circuitry behind it? And people ask me, you know, why why do you find this game so fun? And I think anyone interested in computer or electrical engineering will like logic and circuits. And that's basically what red dust and red torches are in this game, are circuits. Okay, so basically where the item falls in right here, I've opened up so you can see what's going on. Um, the item falls on the pressure plate. It sends signal downwards along this wire, and the magic happens. Okay, so basically the signal travels, and when red torches are placed like this in front of red dust, it's called an inverter. And basically it'll take the signal, so right now it's a negative or a zero, and output a one, positive. That's why it's glowing, it's positive. And then we have this redstone torch on top of a block, and this is an inverter as well. And basically this redstone torch is going to power the door right above it, the steel door is right above this and it's attached to another wire and this wire basically corresponds to the pressure plate on the bridge now when the of course pressure plate sends signal downward like I said this will turn positive hit this inverter become negative and when I have an item on here and someone stepped on here it will be two negative signals sent to this inverter now see this is basically an inverted AND gate so if it gets two zeros or two negative signals it's going to output a one or a positive which is going to send positive signal since redstone torches send signal up not down it's going to send a positive signal to the door up here and it's going to open it and basically what I mean if you haven't worked with digital design an AND gate is something an original AND gate, not an inverted AND gate, is something that must take two ones to output a one. But basically here we're taking two zeros to output a one. So yeah, that's how it works. If you have any questions, uh, I guess comment or send me a message. And I'll do my best to explain it, but I am not a genius. So bear with me.